this is what military housing looks like. It looks like broken closets because they are not the best closet doors. They, they're terrible. But, I mean, it is what it is. And I just haven't gotten around to dealing with it. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open that side of the closet. Okay, so this is my daughter's clothes. She has a ton of clothes, as you can see. Uh, some of these are too small, and I haven't, I just haven't gone through and taken them down, but she's spoiled. Well, both of my kids are spoiled because we can't control ourselves, so... I'm going to be picking her tops and then I'll pick the bottoms to go with it because bottoms are pretty simple. Where to begin? I love this onesie. It's so cute. I think we got it from Walmart. It's like the, yep, it's Granimals and it's adorable. I just love how like so if she's wearing pants or something, this looks like it's just a top, but it's actually a onesie. It's cute. I love it. So I'm going to be taking that, put that in there. I really love this one. So my hardest thing is I tend to overpack and I'm trying to stick to a very easy light pack. Packing. Oh my gosh. I love this top. This one's going. This top looks the cutest with jeans. So, taking that with us. Um, ooh, this dress is the cutest dress. Oh my gosh. I love, love this. It's adorable. So, taking that... All right, I love this. This is super simple. I can match it with anything because it's just a gray top. So that's coming with. I am going to bring this little cute dress. It's just a jean dra dress and that'll be good too. All right, this is cute. Little and loved and it's so soft. I believe this is from like JCPenney's or something. Ooh, another jean shirt. Yes. It's just so easy to, like, if I want to put her in leggings or something. I love this. This is also from, I believe, JCPenney's. The, wherever the Jumping Beans brand is. I love this one. Best smile ever. Carter's. This was her one-year-old birthday shirt. Oh, it's so cute. I had it made. And then this one, Princess, a girl who is sweet, beautiful, and adorable. I'm bringing that. Okay, I might have to like cut it down a little bit, but this is another one of those uh, shirts that looks like a shirt, but it's actually a onesie. And then I love this dress. It's so cute. It's great for like a nice warm day. Okay, so I think that's it. Let's grab some socks. These are great because it keeps their legs warm, of course, and they're so cute. I'm going to bring those and these gray ones. Bring some fuzzy socks just in case it does get cold. So these are both my son and my daughter's socks. Let's get some socks for my son. Some gray socks. I tried to, oh, I want to get these for her. Sorry. <laughs> I try to get socks that might go with everything. Depending on what they wear, what they are wearing, I try to like match their socks. I don't know. It's weird, but some black socks. That should be good for them. So put these back and I'm going to go on his side. Okay, so this is my son's side. He <laughs> has a lot of clothes as well. Most of his fit. He's kind of small. We are very small people, my family. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing. Grab a few things. Grab this gray shirt because gray shirts are great to have. Okay. And a blue shirt. I like to pair the plaid tops, like the plaid fl flannels with shirts that he has. And this is a really cute combo. So I'm going to take that with, 
with us. All right, so another flannelish shirt with a shirt. I like this. I got this from Walmart. It's just a hoodie type shirt and it's so cute. So this shirt is adorable and I actually, I found it at a uh, Once Upon a Child, which is sort of like a Goodwill for kids. Um, and this opens up and you can put stuff in it and it's just like, it's like the tongue. <laughs> it's so cute. He likes to put like cars or blocks in it. It's just a fun shirt and it's by the brand Nubby. I don't know how old this is, but it's cute and it's going with us. I got this one from Fred Meyer's clothing section and it's just a simple shirt that could go with pretty much anything. This is just a regular old shirt and I like that. So this is a construction shirt. He loves construction. He could name all of the vehicles. He likes it that much. Um, but of course his papa used to do construction, so he thinks it's super cool. <laughs> I just want to take all the clothes. Can I just take all the clothes? All right, so I'm going through and I'm gonna see if I have what I want. shirts so I'm gonna be gone for about three weeks so I want to try and have about one and a half to two weeks worth of clothes uh, I don't know maybe like one and a half so this is eight tops but when we're not doing anything honestly my kids stay in PJs all day I'm that mom Oh well, my kids don't, they don't mind. I mean, they don't care what they're wearing. Um, but of course, if the, we if we go out, I put them in clothes. And it's, it's the funniest thing because um, sometimes we don't go anywhere and I still put her in a onesie. And he's like, where are we going? And I'm like, we're not going anywhere. And he's like, well, you're getting her dressed. And I'm like, I know, but we're not going anywhere. I'm sorry for confusing you. Anyways, so I think eight tops is pretty good because... Um, some of these, a lot of these tops, he'll probably be able to wear multiple times before I need to wash them. So he's good. I'm going to put these maybe pile back. So it's pretty even the amount of long sleeve versus short sleeve that he has. So that's good. I'm going to put these back. Okay. So for my daughter, we are going to do the same thing. for her which is fine because she sometimes she has to you know she's younger and younger kids tend to be a little bit messier so 10 is good for her I think I'm gonna keep it at that because she's got a pretty good variety she's got a couple dresses she's got a couple short sleeve a couple tank tops and a couple long sleeve so I feel like I feel like I did pretty good uh, we'll see. Okay, so this is their dresser. I got it off of Amazon. 
this has fallen off and I just haven't put it back together. Um, her dresser, I mean, she's got a lot of shorts, but it just kind of broke a little bit. It's plywood, so it's not like the best, but it is pretty, it's pretty good. Um, anyway, so we'll do hers first. And so I've got little booty type, like under the dress kind of, not booty, it's, um, ah, yeah, oh well. So that's what these are. You, she's got some comfy pants here and here. These are all shorts. These are leggings all right here. And then these are jeans. So... Um, I'm gonna grab her a little bit of everything, probably. Okay, so I have you propped up now so that I can go ahead and do this. By the way, excuse my floor. I have a dog. His hair gets everywhere and I should have fed him. Okay, so I'll show you the difference between a loose roll, which is what you would use if you are rolling pants along with it. You do it a little bit like this, just a tiny bit. And without pants, it's a little bit loose, so I'll show you what I mean. So when you get rolled up, you have bottom of the onesie, and then you have the other part. And so what I mean by loose is that if you want it pulled tight, it won't match up. As you can see, it's pretty, pretty loose here. So I'll show you what it looks like rolled up tight without pants. Again, on the front side facing down, you want to go in a little bit further than you did before. Go in further and then start rolling. This comes around almost perfectly to where the buttons are. So that is how you do it without pants. And the way before, the looser way you would do with pants. So that's how you do that. <laughs> Back to picking out clothes. One more pair of jeans. These are these are the Oshkosh jeans, and these actually these are boys as well. These were her brothers, but they look super cute, and these are much better material than the girls' jeans that they have there. So I would highly recommend if you have a girl, skip the girl jeans and get some nice jean material jeans from the boys section. I'm gonna bring these ones as well. And I think that's going to be it. Okay, so I'm going to put her drawer away. And that just kind of leans up against it. I know it's not like the best, but oh well. Now we are going to grab his... I'm having him traveling. I think I'm gonna put him in these American ones. These will look. Oh, I feel like those match too much. I don't know. It's not too bad. Okay, I'll just put him in this. It's just 
comfy wear. Who cares? You're traveling on an airplane. No one cares. Um, I'm actually going to grab her. This, this is the shirt she's wearing. Or the onesie that she's wearing. So I want to have her in something comfy as well. And I am going to do these leggings because they match this heart a little bit. So I'm going to put her in these leggings, her in this top. All right, so I've got the airplane clothes picked out. I've got all of their other clothes picked out, and I'm going to go take these to my room. Okay, so real quick, I forgot to grab PJs. So these are my son's PJs, and I'm going to grab him a, I'm going to grab like two pairs. Two pairs? Yeah. Everyone's gonna have two pairs of PJs. We'll just do a fleece bottom and then just a regular PJs. So these are both Carter's. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, and then hers are under here. Oh, underwear. I, oh my gosh, I almost forgot his underwear. So these are, I don't know why I have these in here. She has less PJs than him, so these fit in here. Um, let's go ahead and grab him some underwear. Okay, so we've got eight pairs of underwear. I will grab a couple for the plane ride, just in case he has an accident on the plane. And I will grab extra clothes for that too, for both of them. Uh, I always like to do that just in case. It's always better to be safe than sorry, right? Okay, Um, and for her, she's got like so many cute PJs, so. Um, We'll go with these cute little dinosaur ones and maybe these dinosaur ones. I don't know. Or oh goodness. We'll do these. We'll bring we'll bring a footsie pajamas and then those. So alright, so we've got two PJs for both of them. Underwear for him. And for her, I do cloth diaper because it just when she was she just she was a poopy monster. I mean cloth diapering is better for the environment it's better for your your pocket it's just um there's a lot of plus sides to cloth diapering and for us it's what we like to do so this is for gabriel actually i use this for packing for when i'm going to stay at my husband's parents house it's easy to kind of put all of his stuff in this and then put it in the bag i like to do that but for her, I like these are diaper pods and it's basically so you can keep clean diapers in here. This is for when they're dirty, basically. So, I mean, you could use this for when they're dirty as well. There's just a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. But I like to store clean diapers in here for when we are out and about. And I like to have, I'll show you it in my room, but basically like a small version of this where you put the dirty diapers in so that, because they're wet, um, and it just kind of, it just helps. So, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okie dokie. Hey, from down here. Um, so, I have all of their clothes. Actually, you know what? We're going to go, we're going to go grab my clothes first, and then we're going to come back and do all of the packing. So... Um, yeah. So, these are all of my clothes. And I have a ton of clothes. Oh my goodness. So, I am going to try and grab very minimally. I just, I, I grab what jumps out at me. So I just kind of go through and grab what I'm really, what I've been into lately. So I have a lot of tops that I go through and like sometimes I want to wear them and other times I just haven't really 
get into it. It's weird. My fashion is weird. <laughs> but, yeah. I can't be the only one who's like that, though. do the same as I did with the kids have a definitely pile and a maybe pile I always do that because I always over grab take this to the bed <coughs> so we've got what's going on here tangled mess going on here is what we've got all right so I'm going to do my definitely pile I'm just going to take off the hanger and toss into the suitcase for right now um so this one this is a definite I love this sweater it's it's a light sweater but you can put stuff under it so that's a definite this is a definite this is a definite but this I'm ah no okay. this is a definite for sure I'm trying to think if I wanted to wear it to the airport um this one is going to be a maybe we'll see um this is a definite I love these I wear these as both PJ shirts and day shirts. So it just depends on which I choose first. So, oopsies. So, ah, this one is not wanting to come off of the hanger. <laughs> this is a definite because that's a lighter shirt. That'll be good for kind of a cool day. This is a definite. I just got this one or just, yeah, I just got this one. I love it. It's very, I like the material on it. This is a definite. I like to pair this with this top. These are both definites. This is a definite as well. This too. And this one. I'm going to be wearing this to the airport. All right. And then this is a definite. We have... Eight. We'll do eight. I've got... All of my clothes folded. I grabbed myself pants and myself some leggings and I grabbed myself some PJs. Now I'm going to put everything in here. Alrighty, let's get to it. Sometimes I have to do it multiple times just to kind of see what's gonna fit the best. Like Marie Kondo it and I just kind of stack everything. I grabbed three pairs of jeans for myself just to kind of give me options. Like I said, I kind of get myself dressed on based on how I feel. <laughs> so it's great for the environment. Uh, the reason why I started to use them on my daughter was because it seemed like every time she pooped when she was little, um, her poop would just go straight up 
the back of the diaper and I felt like I was forever cleaning poop off of her clothes. So I, my thought process was if I'm going to be cleaning poop, I might as well clean poop out of a diaper rather than off of her clothes and have the possibility of them being stained. I didn't want that. So I decided to take the plunge and get cloth diapers. And these are a year old, almost to the day, these. Um, and they are, they're still in great condition. Um, I actually got these, they're the brand, it's like, this is, that's the brand. I found them on Amazon. So if you are considering getting cloth diapers, I would strongly recommend getting these off of Amazon before getting any other ones just because I feel like this is a great start. money and I don't have to worry about running to the store or whatever to get diapers and I don't have to worry about getting the poop off of clothes and stuff like that. what I was talking about. These are great for taking with you. First, I have this diaper pod right here and I'm going to fill it up with diapers. diaper pod and I'm gonna squeeze it in right there boom oh my goodness I am so proud of my packing skills right now you have no idea so I'm gonna pack two of these and I'm gonna pack this one this is great for traveling but I do have this big old diaper bag for at home. This is what I keep in the kids room. This is where all the dirty diapers go and when I need to wash them I just take this out of their room, take it to the laundry room and just dump it out. Um, but I don't need this big of a bag with just 12 diapers. So this is gonna stay here. Ooh, guys I am so proud of my packing. Like I know it looks crazy like a mess sort of. It's not like the best packing skills but I did not think I would be able to do this. I'm going to put underwear and stuff in here first and then I'm going to do the other stuff in afterwards. Alright, now we're going to go pack toiletries and stuff. Hey! So first I'm going to clean these two beauty blenders so that they are clean and ready to go uh, because I have I have all of these brushes clean and they're ready to go into my makeup bag um, so I'm gonna do that real quick okay so I decided to record this just so you can see how I do it on a tripod <laughs> okay so I have this toiletry bag from 31 it's nice it hangs it folds up very compact I have my deodorant and I've got a few travel containers of moisturizer that I really like I've got my makeshift I turned these that you get from 
hotel rooms, I turned them into my own containers. Um, so I could put my face washes in here. I've got my morning face wash, and then I've got my evening kind of a, an exfoliating face wash in this one. Um, so I like to keep those in there. And I've got, of course, Q-tips just in case that I don't have any available. I've got a mini version of a serum, and then I've got dental floss stuff, and I've got this hair feel. It is great for, here I'll show you. And I'm sure there's other brands too, I'm pretty sure there are, but this is great for kind of getting those baby hairs pushed back. And it's plant-based, um, and it's also like nourishing your hair at the same time. I don't know if you saw that, so I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna do the other side. Um, here you go. So it just, it's plant-based and it nourishes your hair at the same time while keeping your baby hairs under control um, instead of using hairspray, which may not be the best for your hair. But uh, yeah, so that's what this stuff is. I highly recommend it. I just came across it on Instagram or something one day. Uh, but yeah, so I like to keep, I have two. I have one that I keep in my car and one that I keep in my bathroom slash toiletry. everything in there. I did put my toothpaste and toothbrush in there so that I can make sure everything's going to fit correctly. Um, and it's just awesome. You just kind of you lay it down and it zips up and it's the best. I have it all zipped up and look how compact that is. Like this is one of the best things I've ever purchased. I don't regret it one bit. So again, I got this from 31. It's the, it's like the toiletry tote bag or fold up or something. It's great. If you have someone you know who sells 31, go support them. Get this if you travel a lot. It's great. It's a must have. Now we need to pack my makeup bag. And we need to take some things out because I have a lot of stuff that I might not necessarily need to bring with me. So, okay, first, this is the top, and it's very heavy, but I feel like I need everything that's in the top. I've got a mirror in there, I've got, I'm pretty sure I've got everything that I need in here, and I don't want to take anything else out. So. That is going to stay like that. I'm going to put all my brushes in here. I'm going to take my nice clean brushes. Let me grab these out of there because those need to dry a little bit. Um, so I'm just going to put these in here. By the way, I got this bag at, I believe, a Tuesday morning. It's a really great bag. I love that it's got that top pocket, and then it's got the brush holders, and then it's got this bottom portion here. So I've got this, and I don't really use this ever, but I do like to keep it in the bag just in case I feel like using it one day. So I've got my 
makeup bag and I've got my toiletry bag. So I have this kind of carry-on size suitcase that I'm going to put extra stuff in. It, depending on how much room I have, I might bring some more bags, but we'll see. I'm trying to be as minimal as possible and that is very hard for me and I'm sure for a lot of other people as well. I'll do it like this. All right. I'm trying to think. Oh, okay. I want to bring blankets, so just a second. Okay, so I've got some blankets. I got one blanket for my son and one for my daughter for the car ride in case they get cold or tired. They can have some a blanket to keep them nice and comfy. So I'm bringing this with me so that I can continue uh, filming while I'm there. Uh, so I'm gonna take it kind of. I'm gonna take it apart as best as I can so that it doesn't get broken or anything. I'm going to kind of put, I'm gonna put this in some of the blankets so that it doesn't get all scratched up because it does have a mirror. And I don't want anything to happen to it because it's kind of expensive. No, it wasn't that expensive, if I'm gonna be honest. It wasn't, it was, it was really nice price. But I still don't want it to get ruined. <laughs> Okay, so I found these cute things at Walmart for my shampoo, conditioner, and body wash to go into, and I'm super excited that they were so cute, and they weren't just like plain and white or just straight color. I love the designs. I think that's just super adorable. So I'm going to fill these up with my Avon Tea Essentials shampoo and conditioner and then I'm also going to be using a new body wash which I need to go grab. I'll be right back. Okay so I've grabbed my new body wash. It's the Avon Skin So Soft Soft and Sensual and it smells amazing. I'm excited to use it. So I'm going to put these three things into oh there. And yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna add these into my toiletry bag. Okay, so it zipped all closed. So I'm happy I got everything to fit in here that I needed to, and I can put it back in this spot here. I'm actually not gonna put that there yet because I do need to use some things out of here tonight before bed. Um, so this is going to have to wait to be put in there. But I know that it's going to go right in this spot. So I won't put anything else there. Aside from that, uh, my computer is going to go in here. My laptop is going to go in here. Um, I did add some... I added these to my bag... Um, these are my foot creams that I like to use, and then this is my hand cream that I like to use at night. Okay, so right now I am charging these tablets for my kiddos. I'm going to put these in the diaper bag, and I will be packing that here in a little bit. I'm going to pack it full of snacks, toys, um, and such, maybe. I don't know if I'm going to put the snacks in there. But these are going to go in there and definitely some toys. So next, I'm going to be going through my purse and pulling out what I don't want in here. I mean, that's quite a bit of stuff. I don't want, like, I've got just a bunch of trash in here, receipts and whatnot. <laughs> but, yeah, that's, that's trash. So yeah, I'm just gonna go through my purse and 
we'll do a little speedy on through this thing. Okay, pause. This is amazing. Um, I found this while I was going through Instagram one day. I believe either Instagram or Facebook, one of the two, but it is a collapsible straw. Um, and this is, you know, save the turtles. <laughs> so I find this to be amazing. They have other colors. They have like a black, a blue, I think a white, maybe a gray. I don't know, but it comes with this little doodad here, the little squeegee type end. You just feed it through here and then pull it out this end and it just kind of squeegees all the stuff out. Um, so making it a little bit easy to clean. You know, if you're on the go, you can go to a bathroom, run it underwater, squeegee it clean and reuse again. Um, if you don't have any soap by you. But I just love how it comes in this it comes in this cute container so you can keep it in a purse or your bag you can even clip it to your keychain um it, it has this it has this hook right here so you can clip it to a keychain or something but you just fold it up like this and put it in Whoop, just like that and it it closes with like magnets and a little clamp, but it's perfect. I love this. Just to kind of help you be better for the environment, um, you know, because a lot of a lot of places are kind of not giving out as many straws, which is really nice. Um, but so I think it was like twenty bucks. It's Bio Straw. It's amazing. I love it. I plan on getting more. As of right now, I only have this one but I do plan on getting more for my family. Let's continue. Okay, so <clears throat> this is what I found. I've got this that I like to keep in my purse because smells so good it's comforting shea this stuff is amazing like i'll show you it just you don't need a lot but you just it just rubs in so well and it's not greasy like it just soaks into your skin super nicely i just oh it feels amazing but so that's why I keep I keep this in my purse. This was given to me. Um, it's not gonna stay in my purse, but I'm gonna put it for next to my bed because I feel like this would be good for like nights when I just can't seem to fall asleep because it's um, it's got chamomile and lavender in it. It smells like sleepy time, just like like it'll knock you out. I may have to use this tonight. So I'm going to put that with my stuff that goes next to my bed. I can't believe I found a $20 bill, $20 bill. I don't know where that came from. I have no uh, memory of this. It, it, cause, so I have different compartments. Okay, this is my kid compartment. This is where I have all the stuff for the kids. Like I've got wipes. That I or washcloths that I can get wet if I need to wipe them. I've got hand sanitizer for them. I've got little cold or this is oral pain for teething. I've got snacks to keep them quiet. <laughs> I, you know, and I just had this twenty dollar bill was just it was just right there. I was did not did not expect to find a twenty dollar bill there, so I was shocked. Um, and I've got my main compartment with just stuff. I usually keep my wallet in here. I'm probably going to put our, I'm going to put my Nintendo Switch 
in here as well. And then I keep, like, I have, I have this, um, perfume spray. Oh, it smells so good. I have that for, to keep in my purse if I feel like I smell or something. And then hair clip and some other stuff. I've got gum that I keep here and lipstick, or not lipstick, um, a chapstick. And, and then I keep this purse hook. I actually got this off of Amazon, but it's a tabletop. So you put this on the table and then you hook your purse to it so it doesn't go on the floor or anything like that. So I really like that. I think I got three for nine dollars. So definitely check that out if you need, are in need of a purse hook. These little coconut, or coconut, oh my gosh, Coco Moco, Mo, Coco Mocha almonds. Um, these are pretty decent. So I like these for when I get hungry to kind of curb my hunger. I'm going to add this. It's the Radiant Moisture Skin So Soft. It has, let's see, this is just like um, a plain Jane kind of smelling lotion. I think I'm going to put this next to my bed for like in the morning to put this on my hands in the morning because I already have this lotion. I don't need two lotions in my purse. So I'm going to go grab the snacks. I'm going to put snacks for the plane ride in my purse and I'm also going to put the Nintendo Switch in my purse. Oh, okay. So I have grabbed a few things. I've got some diapers. I really love the Hello Bello brand from Walmart. They are awesome. I just love how soft they are. Uh, so I'm going to put those in the diaper bag. And I've got their diaper bag right here. Um, and there's actually some diapers already in it. But I'm going to add some more. Because you can never be too safe when it comes to how many diapers you have. I have a change of clothes in here for my daughter. And I will be grabbing a change of clothes for my son to put in there as well. I have a mini umbrella just in case. It always stays in the diaper bag. Some other stuff as well. Diaper cream, baby powder, breathe easy rub from Honest Company. I like to put this on their chest and their backs when they are having... A hard time with a stuffy nose. I really like this. I'm gonna go grab a pair of pants and a pair of underwear for my son. I should probably grab a shirt just in case because if I say what I was about to say, chances are he probably would have needed a shirt change as well. So I'm gonna grab a whole outfit for him too. Outfit for him just in case. All right, so we're gonna put that at the bottom of the bag. And the nice thing about this bag is that it has this lovely back pocket right here, which opens to the bottom. So I love that. I'm gonna grab a few toys for them that I think they might wanna play with and a couple books too. And then their tablets will be in here. And I think I'm gonna also put my daughter's stuffed animal that she sleeps with. I think I'm gonna put that in here as well at the top. Also, both really love these books. If you haven't tried these alpha print books, you should try them. They are seriously so adorable. Like, they create animals out of like shapes or just items, you know, not shapes but items. And they have they are actually textured with the they're raised for the fingerprint. It's so cute. So my kids both really enjoy these books. So these are like first word kind of easy things, but these are great. So I'm going to put these in. So I'm going to put their tablets in here as well and then put her big um, nighttime stuffed animal on top. So that is the diaper bag. I am going to also be putting a container of wipes right here. I just have to go grab those. This is my Nintendo Switch bag that I have. It's honestly so great. I got this 
off of Amazon. I can't remember how much, like maybe $12 or so. It came with these silicone grips that cover the side so it doesn't get all scratched up. It came with covers for the joysticks. It came with a screen protector. So I was able to put a screen protector on there and it goes right into the case. It came with this case and it, and it goes right in there. So you can play like that and it won't fall. So that was great. It also came with this game case. It's got four slots two slots on either side. Um, we only have two games as of right now because they're kind of expensive. It came with um, some headphones. I haven't tried the headphones out yet. And it also came with this um, screen wiper. Worth it for sure. If you have a Nintendo Switch and you're looking for a case that has a bunch of accessories, this is probably what you're looking for. And I will put the link in the description box. I'm gonna put that right in my purse and then I'm gonna put in some snacks. I picked up these snacks at CVS last night. They were two for six dollars. These are for the kids. They are made with vegetables. Both of them like really love them. My daughter devours them. And then he, he's always like, mommy, can I have an umbrella snack? And I'm like, baby, we don't have any because we ran out. So I thought this would be a fun surprise for them. I've never tried these flavors yet, so we'll see. They look pretty good. It, we've got a chocolate, banana, and a strawberry. They are nut-free, and they have servings of vegetables, so they're pretty nice. They're gluten-free, they're vegan, um, they're organic, kosher, and yeah. They've got a lot of stuff. They're good. So if you're looking for a good healthy snack, something that's gluten-free, vegan or whatever, whatever your needs are, I feel like these are pretty good for everyone. My purse is ready to go. I have this cute little purse that's also from 31. This is great for like days when we're going to be out and about and I don't want to lug around this huge monstrosity of a purse. <laughs> um, I like to just quickly transfer my IDs and some cards that I need and then I'm able to put my phone right here in this pocket and just sling this across my body and we're good. I don't have to worry about you know, my shoulder getting heavy or anything like that. So I am going to put this into my suitcase so that I have it just in case. I really, really love this. Okay, I am officially tired. I've been packing all day long. And I think I did a pretty good job. So I'm gonna get off and enjoy some time with my family and eat dinner, well, cook dinner and then eat dinner and rest and try to gather last minute things that I may have forgotten. So um, if you're watching this right now, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, if this is something you're interested in, please subscribe, like, and comment. Also ring the bell and come back for more. I don't normally do stuff like this, but if you're interested in the vlogging, I would be happy to do that. I think I'm going to try and vlog the airport and some of the flight and just the traveling aspect of this trip. Um, maybe some of the trip. We'll see. But yeah, so thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Mwah. Going on on the airplane. Go on standby and hope we get on.